there were unexpected revelations um, that resulted from this disturbance. You know, I guess I, as many people do, think of life or any process that we encounter on planet Earth as being sort of a continual process. And maybe there's a disturbance, a forest fire, a disease, a fallout of a tree. After that, with healing, with curing, with replanting, with inoculation, whatever, you sort of proceed back to recovery of your, and you end up coming back to your original state. Well, what I began to realize that in fact, disturbance is a part of our life pretty much all the time, number one. And secondly, we do not always recover to our former state. Sometimes we come to this sort of what I call a third state that is neither the original nor the disturbed state, but it's somewhere else in between. But I do not remember letting go of the rope. I don't remember sounds. I don't remember the smells at that moment. Um, I don't remember the fall. Uh, according to my graduate student who saw me fall, she said I didn't say a word, I didn't scream, I didn't yell, I simply fell silently. Even though it was 50 feet, that's the equivalent of a five-story building, it's remarkably fast. Hitting the ground at that speed, breaking bones, you know, crushing my spleen, knocking the wind out of myself, knocking me on the head to, I passed out for five minutes. That is a violent, violent action. It was kind of like that. It was like I was suddenly conscious. I remember opening my eyes and looking up and seeing this tree that I had just climbed. But that was one of the most, um, I guess one of the most dire moments I think of the whole experience. It was like, this is it? This is, where's my husband? Where are my kids? You know, where's, where's everything I really care for? The emotion of that realization of, of this is it or this could be it it wasn't so much sadness, it was disbelief. It was like, wait, this isn't the script of my life. I've got another 20 years. And when I die, I want my family and friends around me. I want a big brass band or something. But I think what I've learned from this experience is something actually that was articulated by a friend of mine in Olympia, Washington, a woman named Jean Cavendish. I had told her about my worries, like, am I gonna be able to be the old Nalini? And she said, well, Nalini, you've been stopped. You've been stopped. So, what are you gonna do about that? And she also told me that, um, she said, when you get to this place of patience and boredom, where you're gonna be for a while, that is going to open up the realm of creativity and spirituality. The realm of creativity and spirituality. Well, there's a wonderful promise, isn't it? So her message was not that this trauma was a terrible thing, but rather that it was something that allowed me to be stopped and with that stopping, allow for patience and boredom in order to enter this realm of creativity and spirituality. Love is incredibly important in recovery. It's such a trite statement, but at the same time, because I learned it these last two months, I really, I'm, I'm really such a firm believer in, in the idea that this web of social relationships is essential for our health in all, in all meanings of the word health. This idea that, that our lives and the lives of the planet are dynamic is essential, it's basic, and yet it's something I think we push away because we don't want to be reminded of our own mortality, and yet it's all around us. I mean, so here's the dynamic of Nalini climbing a tree and plonking to the forest floor. Well, if you put that in the context of the forest, the forest is subject to amazing forces of dynamicism, of forest fire, of windstorms, of hurricanes, of insect attacks. And at the level of a single tree or the level of the forest as a whole, that forest is gonna, the trees in the forest is gonna fall down at some point. And what's gonna happen next? 
again, at the level of a single tree or the forest as a whole, it's going to re-sprout and grow again. The sense of the universality of the dynamics of systems, of whatever kind, I think is something that we can look at with at least acceptance and possibly with joy, because I think there's some really joyful things that can come out of it. I feel joyful on certain days and certain ways that this happened to me because of what I've learned from the process, what I've learned from the people around me, what I've learned about the medical profession, what I've learned about life, I think, and um, about myself most of all, is who am I? Is it what I do or is it who I am? And, um, and who is that person gonna be? Not sure yet, but I think I'll find out.